Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla is testing new version of solar roof version 3.5 on employees' homes. Elon Musk says, next Tesla Gigafactory location could be announced this year. Tesla Cybertruck prices and specs will change, but it'll probably be worth it. And, Tesla 4680 batteries may enter high-volume production by end of 2022. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla has come up with a new version of its solar roof, version 3.5, and it is now testing it on employees' homes, ahead of a wider launch. When launching the solar roof, CEO Elon Musk presented it as a critical product to accelerate solar power deployment, as it opens up the market to people, needing a new roof in the near future, all while delivering a compelling new product. He said that he aimed for Tesla to produce 1,000 new solar roofs per week by the end of 2019. It was always clear that Tesla was far behind on that goal, but we didn't know by how much until earlier this month. The company never released data on its solar roof installations and always included them with its solar panel retrofits, which represent the vast majority of its solar power deployment. Last month, Electrek obtained solar roof installations for the first time and confirmed that Tesla deployed 2.5 megawatt of solar roofs during the second quarter of 2022, or about 23 roofs per week. Furthermore, Tesla had paused scheduling of solar roof installations in virtually all markets in the US, which is the only country where Tesla is installing solar roofs. Third-party roofing and solar companies are able to continue installations. Now we learn that Tesla is aiming for its own solar roof installation to continue in the fourth quarter, and it is working on a new version in the meantime. During its many delays, the solar roof went through many different iterations, with Tesla Solar Roof version 3 launching back in 2019. The company also added a new solar tile with more power and higher efficiency last year. Now, SARS is familiar with the matter told Electrek that Tesla is working on Solar Roof version 3.5, and it is currently deploying the updated solar product at employee homes for testing. At this point, it's unclear what is new with the updated version, but Tesla has been putting a focus on durability and ease of installation when it comes to the solar roof lately. If testing goes well, Tesla is expected to introduce the new version of the solar roof when it restarts installation toward the end of the year. It's not clear when Tesla plans to officially launch the new solar roof version 3.5, but it's possible that we will learn more about the product soon. Solar Roof is certainly one of those products that have never delivered on the level of hype that Tesla and especially Elon Musk put behind it. The good news is that Tesla is now going back to doing pretty well with its solar panel business, and as it works on the Solar Roof product, it can shift its installation crews to installing solar panels. Hopefully, version 3.5 is the boost that the Solar Roof needs to become the important solar product that Tesla told people it would be. Moving to the next update, Elon Musk says, next Tesla Gigafactory location could be announced this year. Tesla recently organized the company's annual shareholder meeting, which became a source of many Tesla updates. Tesla CEO Elon Musk announced at the meeting that the automaker could announce its plans for its next Gigafactory location this year. During a speech at the company's Cyber Roundup at Gigafactory, Texas, Musk talked in depth about the company's automotive production facilities. Tesla has opened two new production plants this year, one in Brandenburg, Germany, near Berlin, and another just outside Austin, Texas city limits. The two plants are building Model Y configurations, with Gigafactory Texas utilizing Tesla's new 4680 battery cells in some of the production models that have been shipped to customers. For several years, Musk has said, Tesla will build more gigafactories, but has not talked in too much detail regarding their potential locations. There were rumors regarding a second gigafactory in China, and a few years ago, Musk said that another production facility could end up in the northeastern United States. However, 
Tesla was in deep discussions with India, but the two parties could not come to an agreement regarding a reduction in import duties from the government and a firm commitment to build a plant in the country from Tesla. Musk stated during a speech at the Cyber Roundup that Tesla might announce the next Gigafactory location by the end of 2022. Interestingly, Musk seemed to hint that he is undecided on the location, allowing audience members to shout out suggestions. For what it's worth, Musk did say the most heard suggestion was Canada. Musk also stated Tesla would be building between 10 and 12 gigafactories to accomplish its goals, with each factory being capable of building between 1.5 and 2 million units annually. Moving to the next update, Tesla Cybertruck prices and specs will change, but it'll probably be worth it. Elon Musk admitted that the Tesla Cybertruck's price will change at the 2022 annual meeting of stockholders. However, a lot has changed since the Cyberpunk truck's unveiling. Tesla might make the price change worth it. The all-electric pickup truck was unveiled in 2019, before the pandemic. Prices have gone up across the board, so it wouldn't be surprising if the price of the Cybertruck went up as well. Tesla has increased the price of its other vehicles as well. Cybertruck pricing, it was unveiled in 2019, and the reservation was $99, Elon Musk reminded everyone at the shareholders' meeting. A lot has changed since then, so the specs and the pricing will be different. I hate to give sort of a little bit of bad news. But I think there's no way to sort of anticipate the inflation that we've seen and the various issues," Musk said candidly. Initially, the Cybertruck was available in three trims with varying prices. Even though Tesla has had a lot on its plate with the pandemic, supply chain issues, and inflation, it has continued to refine the Cybertruck's design since 2019. When it was unveiled, the Cybertruck had some pretty impressive specs. In June, Elon Musk confirmed that Tesla had finalized the design of the Cybertruck. At the Q4 2021 earnings call, he shared that Tesla added a lot of new technology to the Cybertruck. Musk hinted that striking a balance between the Cybertruck's new technology and affordability would decide its final updated price. I worry more about like how do we make the Cybertruck affordable, despite having awesome technology. That's the thing that will really set the rate, he said, back in Q4 2021. In June, Elon Musk confirmed that Tesla had finalized the design of the Cybertruck. At the shareholders' meeting, he said that Cybertruck production is on track for mid-2023. Musk assured everyone that the Cybertruck is still a mind-blowing EV pickup truck. But what I can say is that the Cybertruck will be one hell of a product. It's gonna be like a damn fine machine, Musk said. Moving to the last update, Tesla 4680 batteries may enter high-volume production by end of 2022. Tesla may enter high-volume production of its 4680 batteries by the end of this year, Elon Musk said, during the Tesla's Cyber Roundup at Giga Texas. This was a response to Jeffrey L., who asked on Say.com, when will 4680 output match your original yield and velocity targets? Although the question was a hard one, Elon Musk said, he thinks Tesla will be in high-volume production by the end of 2022. He also said that Tesla has enough battery cell supply to make one and a half million cars this year. We are making a decent number every week, and I think we'll be in high-volume production by the end of this year. It's always difficult to predict because a lot of new technology, what's the slope of the S-curve on ramp, and accept that I'm confident that we'll get to the high production rate. But it's probably the end of this year before we confidently get to a high production rate. But this does not affect our vehicle output. We actually have enough battery cell supply from suppliers to make one and a half million cars this year. So it's not a constraint on output, but it will be important for next year," Musk said. Tesla's Cato Road facility has been growing its 4680 battery output by 35% month over month. During Tesla's Q2 2022 earnings call last month, the company's senior vice president of powertrain and energy engineering, Drew Baglino, spoke of the growth. The output has been growing since March of this year due to Tesla's team fully automating the power conveyance for the dry anode electrode tool there. 
Buglino said that this unlocked major increases in production and improvements in yields. He also added that Tesla is aiming for Giga Texas to exceed the Cato Road Pilot Line's weekly output by the end of this year. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.